Hello, hello, here I present the next video about earthquakes. In this video, we are going to uh, learn the terms associated with the earthquakes. What are the terms associated with earthquakes? So the first term is focus. So point of origin of earthquake within Earth's crust. It is a point inside, uh, inside the Earth's crust from where the earthquake originally originates from where the earthquake is initiated that point is called a focus and earthquake waves radiate in all directions from focus so this is a point i have made this this one is earth and this point inside the earth is called focus and from here you see you can see i have made rays and from here the waves earthquake waves or, or we also call them seismic waves these waves radiate in all directions in all the directions okay so the next is so this is all about focus it is basically a point inside earth's crust from where the earthquake originates or initiates the second is epicenter point on earth's surface directly above focus okay these both uh, um, sounds to be similar but these are not similar see this point focus was inside earth's crust but point on earth's surface okay a point on earth's surface directly above focus so you can see here i have made a focus and di uh, and a point directly above it this point is called epicenter okay next definition is isoseismal lines what are isoseismal lines uh, so before learning this we have to learn what is intensity okay it is a number that describes the measure of degree of destruction caused by an earthquake okay it is basically a number that represents the measure of degree of destruction means how much destruction was caused by an earthquake and it is measured on a scale of 0 to 9 i think 0 to 9 or 10 i will confirm it later and intensity is measured by richter scale and there are also another scales but mostly we use richter scale so is it clear what is intensity i think it might be it, it is clear to you all now it is basically the measure of degree of destruction caused by an earthquake how much destruction is caused by earthquake now let's move to the isoseismal lines what are isoseismal lines lines joining points of same intensity means such points in which same destruction took place um, and uh, the line that joins those points are called line are called isoseismal lines okay the next is homoseismal lines lines joining places where shock arrives at same time the okay. homoseismal lines are those lines where uh, shock arrives at same time at same time the shock arrives uh, at um, those locations when we join those locations we get homoseismal line intensity i have explained to you tsunami uh, why are we studying tsunami here? Because tsunami are generated by earthquake. Tsunami are giant sea waves generated by earthquakes on the sea floor. On the sea floor, what happens when earthquake comes? And the giant waves are generated, and those giant waves are generated due to the earthquakes on the sea floor. So, such waves generated by giant waves generated by earthquakes on the sea floor are called tsunami. Okay. I have made a diagram here to make you clear what are these. See. I have cut a square plate of earth's crust okay earth's surface so the point this is below earth's surface it is inside the earth's crust this point is called focus and directly above that lies a point that is called epicenter from here earthquake originates inside the earth and the, the point directly above that on the surface is called epicenter and see these circular lines are isoseismal lines lines of same intensity okay lines that are joining the points of same intensity means where same destruction took place now i'll give you the notes 